Hi everyone, I am back with another topic on differential equations solving homogeneous differential equations of first order, first degree. But before we begin, let us understand what are homogeneous functions and what are homogeneous differential equations. What if we are given a function f in x and y and we replace the x by tx and y by ty and we are able to pull out the terms f of t where t is nothing but a parameter and we are able to write it as t to the power n f of xy and such a function is called a homogeneous function of degree n. This will be better explained using some examples. In the first example, we are given a function f of xy is equal to y by x. If I replace y by ty and x by tx, we can see t gets cancelled and we get 1. That 1 if I write as t to the power 0 into y by x as y by x is nothing but f of x y we get t to the power 0 f of x y this is of the same form as t to the power n f of x y as the power of t is 0 it's a homogeneous differential equation of degree 0 in the second example f of x y is root of x square plus y square Again, replace x and y by tx and ty. We will be getting t times root of x square plus y square, which is nothing but t into f of x y, as root of x square plus y square was f of x y. This is again of the form t to the power n f of x y as the power of t is 1. It's a homogeneous function of degree 1. In the third example, f of x y is equal to x square plus y square. If I replace x and y by tx and ty, we will see t square can be pulled out and we will be getting t square x square plus y square, which is nothing but t square f of xy. As the power of t is 2, it's a homogeneous function of degree 2. Coming to what are homogeneous differential equations? What if we are given a differential equation mxy dx plus mxy dy is equal to 0, where m and n are functions of x and y. If both these functions m and n are homogeneous functions of the same degree, then we say the differential equation is a homogeneous differential equation. By rearranging the terms, this equation can be written as dy by dx is equal to minus mxy upon nxy. Such a differential equation is of degree 0. And we can use a substitution y is equal to zx or z is equal to y by x to solve them. So what does it do? It changes my function of xy into a function of y by x. Such differential equations can always be solved using the method of variable separable. Let's take up some examples. Whenever we are asked to solve a differential equation, remember guys, we start by first checking whether the method of variable separable can be used or not. If you see it cannot be used, then the next step is check whether it's a homogeneous differential equation or not. Here, mind, we are discussing first order, first degree differential equations. So, you can see for the first question where we are asked to solve x dy by dx is equal to x plus y, variable separable method cannot be used. So, we will move on to the method of homogeneous differential equations. For that, first thing you do is keep the dy by dx on the left and shift every other term on the right. Now, 
for this particular question, I bring the x on the right hand side. So we get dy by dx is equal to x plus y upon x. The numerator is nothing but your m x y and denominator is x that is n of x y. So if these two functions are homogeneous functions, then my differential equation will also be a homogeneous differential equation. So that Let's check. I'll replace x by tx, y by ty in both m and n. And we will see that both the functions are homogeneous functions of the same degree 1. So the differential equation is a homogeneous differential equation. Now, there's an easy way of finding out whether my differential equation is a homogeneous differential equation or not. For that, what you do is, in the right hand side, replace x by dx and y by ty and see if there are no t terms there or that t terms get cancelled, then my equation is a homogeneous differential equation. In this case, you can see if I replace x by dx, y by ty in both m and n, we get x plus y upon x. There is no t term in the right hand side. Now, so this has been decided that it's a homogeneous differential equation. Let's take the substitution y is equal to zx. If I differentiate this with respect to x, both the sides, the left hand side will be dy by dx and for right hand side we will use differentiation by parts. So, differentiating x first, we get d by dx of x, which is 1, into z, plus x as it is, and differential of z with respect to x, so that gives us x dz by dx. Now, we will replace dy by dx in our differential equation 1 by z plus x dz by dx, and y by x, see here, divided the terms by x. So I get 1 plus y by x. y by x I replace by z. So the differential equation becomes z plus x dz by dx is equal to 1 plus z. We can cancel z on both the sides. We will be getting x dz by dx is equal to 1. Now separate the variables. Keep all the z terms on the left, all the x terms on the right, we get dz is equal to dx upon x. If we integrate both the sides, we will get z from here, log x from here and a constant of integration c. Put back the value of z which is y by x here in the solution and we will get y is equal to x brackets log x plus c. This is the solution of the differential equation. In the second example, we are given x dy by dx is equal to x plus 2y. Now again, it's such an equation where we cannot separate the variables, so we will check whether it is homogeneous or not. Keep dy by dx on the left hand side, bring this x on the right and divide both the terms. We will get 1 plus 2 y by x. Now, if I replace y by dy, x by dx, t will cancel. So there will be no t term in the right hand side. So it's a different, uh, homogeneous differential equation. Now, take the same substitution as we did for example 1. Replace dy by dx by this term, z by y by x and that gives us z plus x dz by dx is equal to 1 plus 2z. Bring the z on the right hand side and then separate the variables. We will get dz upon 1 plus z is equal to dx upon x. Integrate both the sides. We will get log of 1 plus z is equal to log x plus the constant of integration c dash. This c dash for mean in sake we take as log c. What it does is it helps us 
in keeping the solution in a compact form. And you can see by taking this as log C, we can combine both the terms. So this becomes log of x into C. If you take exponential on both the sides, we will get 1 by z is equal to xc. Bring the x down, replace z by y by x, simplify. The solution comes out to be y is equal to cx square minus x. The third example is also a homogeneous differential equation. You can always check. Bring this 2x on the right. So we get dy by dx is 1 minus y by 2x. If I replace y by ty, x by tx, again t will be cancelled. We use the same substitution, which gives us the differential equation as z plus x dz by dx is equal to 1 minus z by 2. Bring the z on the other side and this will give us 2dz upon 2 minus 3z is equal to dx upon x after separating the z and x terms. Integrate both the sides. Again replace c dash by log of c and this gives us minus 2 by 3 log 2 minus 3z is equal to log x plus log c which is nothing but log of xc. Take this as a power of the term 2 minus 3z and take exponential on both the sides. This will give us, after substituting z is equal to y by x, x to the power 1 by 3, 2x minus 3y raised to the power 2 by 3 is equal to c as the solution. In example 4, we have a differential equation x square minus 2y square dx plus xy dy is equal to 0. Write it in the form dy by dx is equal to m by n. So we've shifted all the terms, we've rearranged it. You can see here when I replace y by ty, x by tx, in both numerator and denominator, we'll have this square and that gets cancelled. So this is a homogeneous differential equation. Use the same substitution, substitute it in the differential equation, we will get dz by dx is equal to 1 by x, z minus 1 by z. Separate the z and x terms and integrate. On integrating, we will be getting half log of z square minus 1 is equal to log of x plus c dash, which we take as log c. Again, combine these two terms, replace z by y by x. You can take exponential to get rid of the log x. And the solution will be y square is equal to c, x to the power 4 plus x square. In example 5, we have x square divided by dx is equal to 3, x square plus y square tan inverse y by x plus xy is equal to 0. You can check if there is a differential, homogeneous differential equation. So we take the same substitution on putting dy by dx as this and z as y by x, our differential equation becomes z plus x dz by dx is equal to 3 times 1 plus z square and inverse z plus z. The z terms cancel on both the sides and when we rearrange the terms, keeping all the z terms on the left, x terms on the right, and when we integrate, the substitution tan inverse z is equal to t. We will get the integral as log tan inverse z is equal to 3 log x plus c dash which we take as log c. Take this 3 as a power of x and that gives us log tan inverse z is equal to log x cube into c. Replace z by y by x. Get rid of the log term we will get the solution as y is equal to x tan of c x cube. In the sixth example, we are asked to solve x sine y by x dy by dx is equal to y sine y by x plus x. Now, shift all the terms on the right hand side or in other words, divide the right hand side by x sine y by x. 
So this term will get cancelled. We will get y by x and this will become 1 upon sine y by x. Again, you can see if I replace y and x by t y t x, t terms will vanish from the right hand side. It's a homogeneous differential equation. Use the same substitution and put them in the differential equation. You will see z cancels on both the sides. We are left with x dz by dx is equal to 1 by sin z. Rearrange the terms keeping all z terms on the left and x terms on the right. Integrate. On integration we get minus cos z is equal to log x plus c dash. Replace z by y by x. Simplify. You will get the answer as cos of y by x plus log of x c is equal to 0. In the last example we are asked to solve differential equation x dy by dx is equal to y plus 2x e to the power minus y by x. Now again if I replace y and x by ty and tx in both these terms see the t term will get cancelled and this tells us that this is a homogeneous differential equation. Use the substitution z is y by x and dy by dx is z plus x dz by dx in this equation, z term will cancel. You will be left with x dz by dx is equal to 2e to the power minus z. Bring the e to the power z on the other side with dz. Keep the x terms on the right and integrate. Take the constant of integration as c dash. c dash we can write as log c. So we will be getting after integration e to the power z is equal to 2 log x plus c dash which is 2 log x plus log c. Combine both the terms, take this 2 as a power of x, we get log of c x squared. Now put z is equal to y by x, we will get e to the power y by x is equal to log c x squared. If we take log on both the sides, we will get y is equal to x log log of c x squared. Thank you for watching. For this video, I have used examples from George F. Simon's second edition. In the next video, we will be doing some special cases of such differential equations.